science patrol ever on the alert to protect mankind the scientific investigation agency maintains a 24-hour patrol of the earth for who knows what mysterious danger may suddenly strike hayata reporting hayata come in you sound as if something's wrong what is it i've spotted an unidentified flying object heading east over the kabari forest stay on it don't lose sight of it report as soon as you can identify it and let us know if it changes direction roger Take down everything on the tape recorder. Yes, sir. The object is flying at a speed of Mach 2. I shall now try to get a closer look at it. made a crash landing. There was a ship following it. They collided and then they both went down in the forest. The other craft couldn't have been a science patrol ship. Those trees, they're on fire. I couldn't make that out. I couldn't hear you. Did you say they crashed? Yes, the mysterious object and the ship. Fuji, Radio Hayata, get as close as you can. Look for survivors. Science patrol headquarters calling Hayata. I certainly Hayata. hope it's Hayata. Come in, Hayata. Come in, Hayata. Hayata, can you hear us? This is Science Patrol Headquarters calling Hayata. Come in, Hayata. Call Come in, men. Hayata. And report in just as soon as you're Come able. In, Hayata.
Placing the radioactive monster Babylon on M90 for disposal when it escaped and headed for Earth. I pursued it even when it entered your atmosphere. It was then that our ship crashed. There is only one way I can repay you for the terrible thing I have done to you. I shall give you my life. You and I will become one and we will fight as one for the peace of the earth for all time. You'll remain in your present form as I am. But now, take this baby capsule. Whenever you are in trouble, use the beta capsule, and you, Hayato, will become Ultraman. 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 Do something, officer. It might be dangerous. I saw the light too. His body was surrounded by light and then brought up high into the air. What kind of a story is that? It's true. We were standing right here and we saw it. All of us. Oh no, that doesn't make any sense. But all of us saw it. I'm telling you the truth. Anything else? Well, uh, yes, a few minutes later it exploded up over the lake. You're wrong to doubt our story. We have no reason to lie. I figured that this whole thing was not of this earth, that it came from space. Captain, I suggest we search for Ayata. It's possible he may still be alive. Good idea. Will all of you assist us? Go yes. Of course. so far. Another party is in that area to the north. All we can do is continue to search, at least till it gets too dark. Go ahead. Captain, has there better been any news yet? I'm afraid not, Fuji. We'll be back at headquarters within an hour. Captain, Oshina's been told. He's worried about Hayata. Hayata wasn't killed, was he? Say that he's all right. Oshino, I hope that he is. There's no sign of him here, which may mean that he didn't get killed. Try not to worry. Yes, sir. See? The captain said he might not be dead. I'm sure that he's not.
I'll turn off the tape recording. It's no use. Go ahead. We might still hear from Ayata. We'll turn it on again if we do. This is the headquarters of the Science Patrol. Hello, Fuji. How's everything at headquarters? Hayata! <sighs> Tell us where you are. The entire Science Patrol is out searching. It doesn't matter where I am now. The important thing is, I need the S-16 in the middle of Lake Gamori as soon as you can get it there. The middle of the lake? I'll fly it there. Take me along? I'm sorry, but we need someone here at headquarters and you're elected. Golly, I guess I've got to stay, but I wish I could go along. Where is it? It's disappeared into the lake. But I have a feeling we'll see it again. <laughs> Calling the S-16. I never ordered you here. What are you doing over the lake? Captain, Hayata ordered the S-16 delivered to the area. Hayata? Ah, Fuji. It was a ghost, right? No. I really spoke to Hayata. I know I did. I'm coming down. Don't do that. Don't land the S-16 in the center of the lake. Hayata radioed me that this is exactly where I should land it. Captain, I think Fuji must be hearing voices inside her head. Impossible. Listen, even though Fuji is one of us, we shouldn't lose sight of the fact that she's a girl and they're very hard to figure out, aren't they? I said that, Ethan, and I'll argue about it someday. Uh-oh. Captain, it's Hayata. Mura to Hayata. Mura to Hayata. Where were you all during the night? A search was conducted over the whole area. I'm sorry that my ship was smashed, sir. How is it that you weren't hurt? I was sure you didn't survive the crash. He saved me. Who? Who saved you? Captain, it's more important to get Bemler right now. Bemler? What is Bemler? That's the name of the monster that's lurking at the bottom of the lake. I'll go down on our S-16 submarine and attack it. You stand by to attack it if it comes up to the surface. Fuji, land your ship and pick us up as fast as you can. Yes, sir, I shall. Monster sighted, send us a signal. We are ready up here.
crest. We'll attack it from the rear. Right, Captain. Comes yeah. super being, Ultraman.
Are you all right? See for yourselves. What? And you really are Hayata, am I right? Of course I'm Hayata. And nobody else, is that clear? Captain, has the monster been destroyed? Mm -hmm. Destroyed, thanks to a man out of the sky. A man from space did it, eh? It's too bad we can't thank him for all he's done for us. Is he the one who saved you when you crashed into the monster? Yes. Hey, Hayata, just a minute. You talk as though you know all the answers, so tell me what the man is called. He hasn't got a name. He doesn't, eh? Listen, I'll bet he does. Now, what is it? I'll think of one. Ah, does Ultraman sound all right? Ultraman? Uh-huh. Ultraman. How do you like it? Well, it, uh... Mm, sounds ultra good. Oh, but Ultraman isn't here. Did he leave the Earth? He's around. He lost his ship in the crash. He's unable to leave Earth now. <laughs> You're a lucky man, Hayata. A very lucky man. Nobody knows it better than I. Come, let's go home. <laughs> still hurts a little and it looks awful. Yes, all right. I'll put ice on it. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> you noticed the eye, huh? Yes, I kind of thought you would. It doesn't look so bad, really, does it? <laughs> Everybody thinks it looks really terrible, doesn't it? Well, I tell you how I got this eye. You have to keep it a secret, though. It's just between us, don't forget. It started happening to me last night around midnight. Sit back, I'm going to tell you the story. Hmm. It was a peaceful night in the city. Temperature comfortable, humidity pleasant. At Science Patrol headquarters, everyone was sound asleep. Everyone except one miserable man, me. Sheep 9039. Come on now, why don't you jump over it? Jump, I said. Why are you waiting? Why don't you go ahead? Sheep, go ahead. Why don't you jump over that little fence? Sheep 9,049, sheep 9,050. Wake up, let's go! Oh, oh, oh! You're taking too long! Hurry! What's happened, Captain? Something strange has occurred. Our radar says an unidentified flying object has been seen flying over the city. Then it disappeared off the screen. Well, it's possible, sir, that it was a ship from somewhere in outer space. Or a meteorite of some kind. Mm-hmm. More importantly, how can we investigate further? A patrol is out already. Hayata's been sent to the area where the object was seen. Captain, this is Hayata. The object was last seen at latitudes 33 degrees and 19 minutes north, longitude 139 degrees and 6 minutes east. The computer will give us other details in a few minutes. It was last seen there? That indicates the object landed near here. Hmm. Hmm. A report came in just now, Captain. It says that no country in the world has launched any rockets into space tonight. This is Ayata again. The computer has now pinpointed the exact spot. The object, whatever it is, seems to have landed at the Scientific Technical Center. Arashi. Coming, Captain. Arashi. Sir? I want you to go to the Scientific Technical Center. I was hoping you'd send me, sir. Arashi. But not in your slippers. Right? You can go. Right. Then 
Don't you know you don't wear your slippers on duty? <laughs> oh, 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 oh! It was already early morning as Arashi drove toward the scientific technical center. scientific technical center, but the captain didn't mention taking you along. I know, but I mentioned it to myself, so here I am, Arash. So I see. I'll stay out of your way, but you don't know what you'll run into at the scientific center. And in case you need it, I'll lend you a hand. <laughs> to stay here. I've got to conduct an investigation. And I could run into danger in there. You remain right here. I'm going in there alone. But I want to go too. Mm, you can't. But I've got a special job you can do. Keep in touch with headquarters for me. Okay? Okay, Arashi. Good luck. headquarters and say that something strange has happened. I'll need help in here. the main building, but I haven't received any further communication from him. But my sister keeps calling me on the radio. Hoshino! Hoshino! Any further reports from Arashi? Come in, Hoshino! She's calling me every second. She wants a minute-to-minute -minute account. What does she think we're running here after all? Does she think we're at a horse race? Just do your job. This is Hoshino. I spoke to Ayata here at the car. Right now he's going to enter the main laboratory building and he's now about 18 yards from the building entrance. He's now about 16 yards. He's now about 13 yards. He, I what? just need every detail. This isn't a horse race, you know. meeting of the Supreme Defense Council, the creatures from outer space and a way to defend the world against them were discussed. Captain Mora, 
Do you or any other members of the Science Patrol have any ideas? No, sir. None at all. Not at present. However... Go ahead. Out with it. Tell us what you're thinking, Captain. I... Nothing. Captain, I want to hear it. I was thinking of trying to have a talk with them. <laughs> no, this isn't a time to be funny. It's a very serious matter. Do you really intend to try to talk to them? It might be the only way, sir. They use dangerous weapons. Weapons such as have never been seen before here on Earth. Perhaps the only way we can stop them is to attack the ship in which they came here. Then we are all in agreement about that. If we're able to find the invader's ship, I suggest that we use our newest nuclear weapons against it. Are you certain they will have the desired effect? Suppose they do not destroy it, what do we do then? We'll be at their mercy. Our weapons won't fail. Gentlemen, why don't we try to find out what they want? If it's something very simple, we could give it to them and ask them to leave. Absolutely not! You mean surrender to them. That's what you're really saying, isn't it? It sounds like it. Yes. The conference went on for hours, and because no one else had a sensible suggestion, they decided to try Captain Moore's idea. Hmm. Come here. Come here. Kite, yushe, kira kite, eh? I don't understand you. Huh? I want to be your friend. Out of space talk. Are you sure? Well, it's space language, I think. Sort of universal. The only thing is, I haven't used it on anyone from outer space yet. Hmm? Let's go. So soon? <laughs> so there I was, me, Hito, along with Hayata, heading for the Scientific Technical Center to try to talk to the creatures from outer space. Meanwhile, the world was put on full emergency alert against the invaders. to protect you. Those rockets will blast off if you signal good. We're going to do our best. I hope so. Hmm. Uh, ah, Hayata. Are you sure this gun's been loaded? It's completely full. The first one I see won't be real, so I, I shoot at the second, and that's real. So I skip the first, and I aim at the second, and I hope I hit it. And if I don't, it's goodbye. Go ahead. Hmm? Uh, Hayata, in case the talks don't go well, you'll help me, won't you? If you don't get going, you won't get a chance to talk. Mm -hmm. I think I got laryngitis. I haven't any voice left, so how can I talk? You go ahead. I'll remain back here. Now, don't forget, I'll be counting on you. You'll be all right. Okay, now it's up to me. Hmm. I'm not afraid. Not much, anyway. I knew that was me. Kiste, luce, kirikite. That one isn't real. It's the second one that's real. <laughs> Which one is the real monster? Ki? Ki? Como? Como? Coco? Coco? Como? Como?
Rashi! Rashi! Rashi, you all right, huh? Your space language was too hard for us to understand, so we have decided to communicate with you through this man. We have taken over and now control his body. To talk to us, you have to talk through him. Talk to him? I must be brave. You, you, I can't stop being afraid. Space creature, why did you come here to Earth? While we were on a trip in space, our home planet, Bolton, was destroyed by nuclear explosions conducted by a group of mad scientists from the Moffat Galaxy 4. We could not return to our home, so we began searching for another planet on which to settle. As we passed Earth, which we know as planet M240, our stabilizers were affected by gravity, and we were forced to land in order to repair them. I want to ask you, why did you land in this area? Your technical center has the parts we need in order to repair our ship and continue on our journey. I have another thing to ask. What made you freeze all the men who happened to get in the way? You gave the reason yourself just now. They got in our way. Where are you planning to go now? Our journey is over. This planet, your Earth, is the perfect place for which we have been looking. We will live on Earth. They can't. Just who are they anyhow? I don't know. You can stay. <gasps> you must follow our laws and all of our customs. If you agree, you will be permitted to remain here on our Earth. How many came here with you? Sixty billion, four hundred million. All of you are here on Earth? They are the size of bacteria, too tiny for Earthlings' eyes. My fellow creatures all can sleep and work, as they have for years, inside of our invisible ship. Just one among them is big enough to be seen by an Earthling. Listen, you can't stay here on Earth. There are at least four billion people here and it's getting crowded already. Why don't you go live on Mars? None of us like Mars. We don't want to stay there. It's impossible for us to be able to spend our lives on Mars. Why is that? Tell me. No, I cannot say. Ah, you nearly did tell us. And it's just too bad you didn't say it. I said too much already. Now we will take over the Earth. Soon it will be ours. Everybody will be slaves. Oh. Harashi! Harashi, are you all right? Oh. Stay there. Don't run away. I'll shoot it. Wait. It's going to get away. Start firing at him. Open fire. Any way to fight this thing? Spacium, I think. Spacium? Yes, it's on Mars. That's where we could get it. And we can't get it here on Earth, is that right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know he could help us. He? And who is that, sir?
Ultraman's going to help us. Shit! It again. He destroyed it. The spacium wasn't needed after all. ship, invisible to all but Ultraman, was destroyed. I feel much better, finally. You look oh, fine. Take it easy. <laughs> You wouldn't have had a chance if Ultraman hadn't arrived there when he did. For a minute, I thought that you were Ultraman, the way you jumped off that roof. That's very funny, Ito. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're still thinking of this black eye. I tell you how I got it then. You see, I waited till it was quiet and got back into bed and I was soundly sleeping. Fifteen thousand eight hundred two. 15,803 sheep, 15,804 sheep, 15,805 sheep, 15,806 sheep. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> underground river comes from up there. It flows past here through a lot of different caverns. So a power station was constructed. You can see it there. It converts the flow of water into electricity, but the men who built it blocked off one or two caverns that lead from here to the sea. You mean they were sealed accidentally? Ah, uh -huh. they still get enough water to operate the station. But no one knows oh. what could be inside those caverns that were sealed off. Maybe it's whatever made those strange noises. Or maybe people just imagine hearing them. Oh, she know. Come back here. Come back here, boy. Don't go down there. Nobody's allowed it's down dangerous. there. Come back. Oshino, who knows what's down there? Come back here. I 
Better use my flashlight. Do you think he's all right? I hear something. It's the sound the one people have told us about. Hoshino! Hoshino! Come back here! Hoshino! Hoshino! Cold air. It's going in that direction. That's a sign that there's got to be an exit down here, and I wonder if it leads to the ocean. down there. You get lost. As long as we can get out of here. I doubt it. It doesn't seem possible that a landslide destroyed the Eastern Power Station. It doesn't make sense. There was no earthquake in the vicinity. It says here someone saw a monster. They say they saw a monster? Captain, I sent Hoshino to that area to investigate some strange sounds that people reported coming from a well. Fuji went with him in case he ran into trouble. So Fuji is there too, huh? Yes, sir. And that well they're checking up on is near the power station. Mm. That's why I'm worried about Hoshino and Fuji. Captain, I've been trying to radio Fuji, but I get no answer. Uh-oh. I hope they're all right. And they didn't get caught in that landslide. We'll check into it. Let's go, man. Yes, sir. of the science patrol race to the scene of the disaster, Hoshino and Fuji manage to escape into the sea, where they are rescued by fishermen. There's the wrecked station. We'll take a closer look. Get ready to land. Okay. This huge monster you claim you saw, which way was it headed? Well, it uh, just disappeared, sir. What? It was there one minute and then it was gone. I think it's come to this power station before. 
Why do you think that? Because occasionally there was a strong drain on the generators. As though the monster were taking electricity. Taking it? Hey, Captain! Fuji and Hoshino are alive and uninjured. They're resting at a nearby hotel. They were found in the ocean on the other side of that hill and brought in by some fishermen. How did they get into the ocean? I'm not sure. Their car was found near that strange well. Let's ask them about it. And you heard the roar of some kind of monster? Yes, I certainly did. And you claim you never saw it? Uh-huh. Then no one has seen it. You don't think it could be invisible? Oh, there go the lights. Come in. Captain, there seems to be some trouble at the Awami power transmission station. Roger. That station's not far. I wonder what's wrong there. Earlier today, a power station's attacked. Now, transmission station's not coming. Kayata, you and Hiroshi drive to the transmission station while I look at the wreck station again. Yes, sir. sir. What went wrong? I don't know. All the voltage suddenly went to zero. We don't have any power. Is there a short somewhere? I checked. Nothing seems to be wrong. I can't understand it. Visible right now. Here I go. Arashi, be careful. has just been attacked, but this one over here hasn't reported anything unusual so far. Then if the monster doesn't lose its appetite for electricity, this power station should be next. Mm -hmm. It's got to be, so we'll get ready for that attack. Hayata, get all the information you can on that station. Yes, sir. I've got a great idea. We can starve the monster. Huh? Oh, what do you mean? It's easy. We'll order every power station in the area to cut electricity. You know we can't do that, Ito. What do you think will happen if there's no electricity? Everybody would be in a panic. The entire country would be helpless. And that's not all. No phones, no water, no trains, no nothing. I hadn't thought about all that, Arashi. Without electric power, we wouldn't be able to function either. The station we think is next generates nearly 20 million kilowatts. And what's more, the station supplies the center of the city. Mm-hmm. This leaves us no choice at all. That station has to be protected. It's not going to be easy, sir. We're back at last. Fuji and Oshino, are you feeling better now? Mm-hmm. Wow. Hey, Urashi, will you lend huh? me this gun? Careful, Oshino. It's too dangerous. I want to use it against Naranga. Naranga? What's that? Hmm. The monster, naturally. A book I read said the monster lived down in a well in that area. Some soldiers, many years in the past, are supposed to have destroyed Naranga. But it didn't die. I'm sure because... I saw a huge eye peeking at me down in the well. Oh, do you think that's the same monster that's attacking the stations? And if it is, Professor Hoshino, tell me why the monster suddenly attacks after having slept all these years. The loss of voltage started recently, just after they constructed our newest station. And the cables underground awoke that ancient monster. That's quite logical. And Naranga learned how to turn the electricity he was absorbing into energy. 
As a result, he grew larger and larger, till it had to come out at last into the open air. We know the result. Now we've got to destroy the monster, and we've got to do it before it's too late. Mm -hmm. Electricity makes it appear and then go away again. It's got to be destroyed when it needs energy and we can see it. Mm -hmm. Ito, everyone living near the next power station is to be evacuated. Yes, right. sir. And Arashi, sir, is the ship fueled and ready for instant takeoff? Yes, sir. Headquarters to ground control. Clear us for emergency takeoff. Fasten safety locks. Under the protection of the rocket launchers and the Mobile Super Ray Corps, the city's main power station continues to operate. But an emergency alert is in full force. No reaction, sir. There isn't a sign of the monster. Okay. Continue to report all areas. Keep on checking. He can destroy the monster. He won't have a chance. I've got a reaction. Range a thousand. Captain, it's coming. I know. We'll attack it before it attacks us. We're waiting for an exact reading. Looks like we got it. The monster's gone. have all been completely right. Have they? Then you're wise to get out. You did a good job. Hoshino's got that gun. I wish I had it. I blast that monster right off the face of the earth. I just wonder where Hoshino is.
Hoshino. Are you all right? Hoshino. Ultraman, he's the only one who can save us. energy which gives Ultraman his superhuman power decreases rapidly in Earth's atmosphere. The timer starts to blink. If it stops completely, it will mean that Ultraman has exhausted his power and he will never rise again. Hayata, I'd like to know where he's been. Isn't that sunset lovely? Yes, and now that the monster's gone, I can enjoy it. Okay, let's head home. ago, a super rocket was launched, loaded with six nuclear bombs to be used in the development of the planet Jupiter. However, something went wrong with the rocket. 
one of the nuclear bombs exploded deep in the ocean, causing a gigantic tidal wave. Four of the unexploded nuclear bombs have been recovered from these areas. The other one hasn't been found yet. Right now, all naval vessels are carefully searching the bottom of the sea for that missing bomb. The safety locks were off on the four bombs that were recovered. And so, no doubt, the lock is also off on the one that's lost. This is what the bomb looks like. Study it closely. Pressure can set the detonator and a pilot light switches on. Twenty seconds later, it will explode and it's atomic. Oh, that means that ships will be destroyed. They won't have a chance. And a big part of the ocean will become radioactive if it explodes. Mm -hmm. There's more danger. If the tide should push the bomb in this direction, a large part of our city could be destroyed. Mm. I'm ready. Ready for what, Ito? Huh? As a member of the science patrol, I'm ready to begin searching for the missing bomb. Shall we go? You're to stay here. Oh? Our orders are to stay here at headquarters and use our, our heads. Use my head? They want us to find it without having to go underwater. Oh, now that's impossible, sir. The sea stretches out for thousands of miles. Let's try to figure a way. Uh-huh. Hi. Oh. Fuji, you're planning to go on a trip? Mm-hmm. I'll see you all later. But you're going away today, eh? Captain, why is she able to take a vacation while we face a crisis? Right now, we need every brain we've got, and Fuji's is the best. Take it easy. Don't be so jealous. Listen, Arashi, I... She's entitled to it. Huh? Fuji hasn't had a vacation ever since the day she joined the science patrol. That's my reason for permitting her to go. And so, Ito, I'll be staying at the Mamayana Marine Hotel, and I know that I shall enjoy it. Really? What fun is it when there's no one to share it with? <laughs> Don't worry about that. I have a date. Huh? Who is it? Go ahead. <laughs> That's my secret. Oh? Sorry I kept you waiting. He's your date? <laughs> oh, she know. He's a brother. What's funny? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> That's a secret. has survived that ship sinking last night. He's in pretty bad condition. He's delirious and very frightened. He says he saw something. A frightening thing. It's frightening? That's what he said. Captain, what exactly did he see? I don't know. He hasn't made it clear. Hayata? Sir? Go to the hospital. Find out what you can. Yes, sir.
saw it. I saw it. I saw its wake. A huge wake coming toward the ship. It was out there, coming toward us. Try to calm him. He's been saying the same thing ever since he was brought into the hospital. Easy now. Captain. Captain. Hayata calling. This is the captain. He's still delirious. He keeps talking about seeing a wake near the ship. He says he saw a wake. He's not the only one to see it. You mean he just didn't imagine it, sir? We just had a report from an ocean liner. They said they saw a huge churning wake coming toward our coastline. It's going at least 60 miles an hour, and on studying the direction, it's moving away from that ship that was sunk. If it's moving toward our coastline, we've got to act. Sir, give me my orders. Well, if it continues on course, it'll land in Chiba, near Nojimizaki. I'll be in Chiba. In Chiba, Fuji and Hoshino are on vacation. than Hoshino, but he's a much better player. Michiko, please just tell us what the score is. I did tell you, that's why I say he's better. You're a pretty talkative little girl. And you like to tease. I like to. I just can't help it if I tell you exactly the way you play. Michiko, it's time to go now. Get down. I want to stay. She's Michiko, enjoying herself. I want to stay with you, Fuji. Can I? I'm just going shopping and I'll be back in an hour. Would you mind keeping an eye on Michiko? Uh. It'll be a pleasure. You go ahead. Really? Thank you. You're very kind. I'll see you later, then. And I hope she doesn't cause you any trouble. Goodbye. Oh. We just have to make the best of it, Hoshino. Here, it's your turn to play, Michiko. But I'm hungry, and I like spaghetti and sandwiches. I see. Any kind of spaghetti and any kind of sandwiches. They're all delicious, don't you think they are? Hmm. You're sure you can eat everything? Are you sure you've got room for it all? Mm -hmm. It's too good to leave anything, Fuji. Mm. Oh, what a nice pin that is you've got on. It's not a pin, exactly. Hayata, this is the captain. Radar has just reported that they lost trace of that strange wake in the ocean two miles off the coast. Roger. I'll keep heading for the Chiba area as we planned. That'll be best. Good luck. I wonder what the strange wake is. Oh! What is it? Out there, look. Huh? That looks like the wake out there. The one radar lost. Headquarters. This is Fuji. This is Fuji. I'm staying at the Mamayana Hotel and the wake just passed by here. It was moving quickly toward the south. The south? South? It's changed direction. Thanks. We'll check immediately. Arashi. Sir? You've got to see the wake yourself and find out what's causing it. Use the airship to get there. Right. Oh, where are you going? To investigate the mystery. See you later. Captain? You stay and do the job that Fuji usually does. But, sir, I'd like to... You're a lucky guy, Arashi. Bet I'll be doing nothing here. Couldn't have anything else. Michiko. She ate so much, she fell asleep. I'll take her up to her room. I want to stay here. Huh? Huh? Ito. Yes, sir? Take it easy and sit down. But, but, Captain. You know, if Fuji were here, things would go a lot better. Oh, what do you mean, sir? Well, she'd get me coffee for one thing. Coffee? Ah. Oh. I get it. <laughs> I... Oh, 
I've just found the wake, Captain. Look! We see the wake again. Captain, it looks like it's coming this way. Get everybody out of the hotel. Who knows what may happen? Yes, sir. Hayata, Hayata, you are to proceed to the Mamayana Hotel. The wake was just seen there. The hotel? Yes, sir. Captain, here's a cup of coffee for you. Mm. Ito? Yes, sir. You want me to go to the Mamayana Hotel? I'd like you to drink it. I use salt, not sugar. Captain, this is Hayata. Where are you, Hayata? Go ahead. I'm approaching the ferry. It'll take me 20 minutes to get across. Hurry. This is Hayata. Hayata, we know what was causing that wake. It's at the hotel. Hayata, it's a monster and it's more than a hundred feet high. Sounds terrible. I guess it grew to that size from the radiation in the sea. Radiation from the nuclear bomb that exploded. I'm sure that you're right, but there's additional danger as a result of that rocket accident. I think the monster searched the floor of the sea and managed to locate the bomb that was never found. I hope not. The entire place is under tight security. Try to destroy the monster and send a report as soon as you can. Hurry, Hayata, hurry, get there! This won't go any faster. Science Patrol, let me through. Go ahead, sir. I shall attempt to blast it. Going in. Arashi, attack and you might hurt the others. Understand? There just might be a chain reaction. Arashi, I'm on my way. Keep calm. Ah. How can I? That monster's in my sights right this second. Ah. Hayata, you must get that nuclear bomb no matter what it costs. Listen, it's up to you. That bomb must not explode.
care not to get it angry, Harashi. The lives of millions are depending on you. Harashi, get away. If the bomb drops, it'll go off in 20 seconds. The children. I've got to help the children get away. And the ship was just hit. Harashi bailed out. I have an idea. Wild animals like music, don't they? You're right. We'll try luring it with music. I'm going to try Ito's idea. Get the Coast Guard. Right. The Coast Guard, right away. like music? We'll stop it then. Tell them to stop. Cut the music. The monster doesn't like it. I don't understand this, sir. All wild creatures like to listen to music. Radioactivities affected it. Whatever instincts that monster had have been completely twisted. <laughs> I wish Ultraman was here, sir. Ultraman, save them. Here, over here! Oh! has become Ultraman. Ultraman is here! Glad to hear it. Oh, my wish was heard, I guess. which Ultraman gets from the sun decreases rapidly in Earth's atmosphere. The energy monitor blinks a warning. Should it stop, it will mean Ultraman will never rise again.
only ten more seconds and it'll explode. Ultraman, the energy's running Let's out. Let's go. Four, three, two, one, zero. Arashi, what happened to Ultraman? I don't know. Hello. Oh, Hayata, Ultraman took the bomb out there. Yes, I know. Hayata, Ultraman is destroyed, I think. He sacrificed himself for the good of the Earth and for everyone on it. None of us will ever forget what he has done. Hayata! Hmm? He's not really dead, is he? Say he's not! Oh, uh, he's okay. He's invincible. Hmm? Uh-huh. I know he is. Mysterious occurrences took place in the center of the city, but no one saw them. The police conducted a thorough investigation which failed to solve the mysterious cases. Now they have called upon the most brilliant investigative agency in the world, the Science Patrol. Ito, sir? Arashi? Sir? Here are your orders. You are to go to Omura Heights immediately. Omura Heights? Don't you mean where the accident occurred? Get me the information on Dr. Yamada. Yes, sir. There's a similarity between the two cases. Oh. And the doctor's laboratory is at Omura Heights. Here's the data on Dr. Yamada. He's famous for raising exotic plants. This says he once bred a three-ton watermelon. Oh. The rest is here. All right. See you later, sir. Hayata, sir, you and I will visit the site of the car crash. Let's go.
Captain Moura and Hayata arrive at the site where the mysterious car accident took place. I wonder if the car skidded. Hmm. A very strange looking substance, sir. Yes, I've never seen it before. From the marks, we can see that's where the car skidded, and over there is where the victim was attacked. I just can't figure out what did it. Captain, come and take a look at this. It's some of the same thing. At the same time, Ito and Arashi are on their way to investigate what happened to Dr. Yamada, one of the world's leading authorities on botany. A wonderful place. This greenhouse served as the doctor's laboratory. Oh, yes? Look at that! What kind of a plant is growing there? It was grown by the doctor. It's a giant carrot. Why did he grow it so large? The doctor thought it would help the food shortage. He was always looking for ways to grow large vegetables like that. Mm. Oh, I guess it must take a month at least to eat a carrot this large. What was the doctor studying or experimenting with lately? Well, just recently he went to Oelis Island with an expedition and they brought back a rare, beautiful flower. Since his return, he's been trying to grow that flower even bigger. Oh. Arashi! Come over here! Look! There's nothing there! What do you think caused that? When he was attacked, the doctor fell in there. Oh, it's interesting. And what happened to that rare flower? It disappeared. We haven't seen it. Science Patrol! This is Arashi. Get all the data on the Oelis Island trip. Right. While Fuji feeds questions into the Science Patrol's supercomputer, Captain Mura and Hayata visit the Science Patrol's science laboratory, which is under the supervision of the world-renowned Dr. Iwamoto. Well, Doctor, what is that? Sections of the tracks left by the doctor's assailant. Captain, I think that's the same substance we saw around the car. It's a viscous, sticky liquid. A snail's been known to leave a trail like that. Isn't this the same substance? You're correct. This is exactly the same thing. Are you sure? You're saying it was a snail. It doesn't make sense, does it? Oh, I'm not saying that it actually was a snail. This green stuff disproves that. Really? What do you mean? Chlorophyll is found in plants and in nothing else. Then what are we dealing with? Apparently it's not an animal then. Dr. Sakai has been attacked. Oh, no. Hayata, come with me. Right. A substance is chlorophyll. It has a high radioactive content. Well, then, whatever we're dealing with has to be a plant. I can't go along with a theory like that because the sticky part of the substance has to have been left by an animal. Doctor, Earlier today, we went to visit the greenhouse that is the laboratory of Dr. Yamada. One of his flowers has disappeared. It was from Oelis Island. A plant from Oelis Island? Uh -huh. Here's a photograph of it. This is a Miloganda. I've only seen that picture, Zarashi. Huh? Dr. Yamada was trying to crossbreed certain exotic flowers. And he was getting interesting results with radioactivity. radioactivity huh? That's right. I know the answer. Huh? Really? The way I look at it, the Milaganda absorbed electricity. Mm. This caused oh. it to burst. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, it was an accident. Oh. Oh. 
Well, as I was saying, sir, monsters haven't been known to grow on trees. They're always animal or reptile or fish. How can anybody grow a carrot that's usually no larger than this into a monster? The largest carrot on Earth. And yet, Dr. Yamada did. And on the expedition to that island, he returned carrying a plant that turned into a monster. Mm. He told me we can't be sure. Uh-huh. And so, Captain, I suggest we question a certain photographer, a Miss Hamaguchi. I've been told she took pictures on that expedition. Oh, she did. Oh. That's right. Captain, we'd better go right now and talk to this Miss Hamaguchi. Uh -huh. She can tell us all we need to know. Mm -hmm. So she was along on the expedition. All right, let's go. Yes, sir. Great. I'm ready. Not again. Yes, both the victims had been along on that island expedition, though I don't know why they'd been attacked. While you were there, did anything unusual happen to you? Anything unusual? Mm. I can't think of anything. Listen, you might just be next. You're the only one left who went on that expedition. Huh? Um, Ito. I'll try to remember. Ah, we became lost on part of the island. You became lost? There's nothing unusual about that. Getting lost happens to me frequently. Now, let me give you my theories about what happened to those men and the monster that did it. That's enough, Ito. Just who do you imagine you are? Sherlock Holmes? <sighs> Sorry. When you were lost, did anything happen? Well, yes. I remember that it did. We got very tired and very thirsty. The situation seemed hopeless. with us, Doctor. Yes, certainly. Oh! oh I'll help her. Oh! 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 Now, you say that uh, this insectivorous plant was near the big flower, yet it had no connection with the flower. Is that correct? Yes. Hmm. And it's the first time you saw a plant like that, right? Uh-huh. Captain, I've got an explanation. It's the special waters there. Water? Yes, sir. Oelis Island is located in a volcanic area, and there's radioactivity there. I suspect the plant lives on the K-factor found in the radioactive waters on the island. You know, that sounds right, Hayata. The plant attacked her after she drank it. Sir, what about that beautiful flower? Have you an explanation for that? Dr. Yamada applied gamma rays to the Milaganda flower he brought back from the island. Influenced by the tremendous charge of radioactivity, the plant returned to its larval stage. I see, so that's your theory. The larval stage of that lovely flower is a weird insectivorous plant that was changed through a charge of radioactivity. From a rare, beautiful flower, it has been transformed into a horrible, dangerous monster. That's your theory, right? And Hayata, is your theory also that this hideous insectivorous plant shall attack me after this? Do you think I'll be the next victim of it? Is no, that no, 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 Miss Hamaguchi, don't worry about that. I'll protect you against all kinds of danger. You'll find that I'm reliable. <laughs> Arctic 
総隊はそのまま浜口節子のガードマンになったそして何事もなく夜が明けた室松こちら本部異常ありませんか異常なし了解入れたい応答せよ入れたい<音声>こちらいでこちらいであいこちゃん空気はいいし天気はいいしうんあー以上なし<笑>こちら早田異常なしこちら嵐別に異常なしおあっちくれろ全隊員に報告嵐隊員の連絡がつきません Apparently, your guns had some effect on the monster. But it has not been defeated permanently, I'm afraid. Well, in that case, I think we should try the nuclear gun. But you're in no condition to go on a mission like that. I'm all right. No, Arashi, I'm afraid to use the nuclear gun because the radioactivity could give the monster extra strength. But I could try... Arashi, this will make you feel a little stronger. Oh. Yes, sir. What's up? It did. We'll be there. Goodbye. The monster has shown up at Maruanuchi. All right, let's go. Oh, no. No, no, you can't go. You can't. You I'm going. Stay here, Arashi. It's my You're duty. in no condition. No, no, wait a minute. Here. No, wait a minute. What happened to the room? What happened to the line?
tremendous energy which Ultraman gets from the sun diminishes rapidly in Earth's atmosphere. His warning light begins to blink. If it stops, Ultraman will never rise again. Ultraman. Let's go. Yes, yes, sir. Where's Hayata? He's not around here. No, I wonder where he is. が入ったわ。横浜沖で20メートルもある爪が傷だらけになって浮かんでたんですって。ああ、大型船にでも跳ねられたんだろ。それが違うのよ。何かに噛まれた傷なんですって。うん。ちょっと引っかかるな。どう
on land. It was in the ocean. Come on. They escape. It won't escape. Hoshino, come on. I'm telling you, I know. Where is there a telephone? What? To phone to call the science patrol. I want to tell the science patrol that I just saw a monster. Hmm, good idea. Oh. I was right. The first wreck point was in this area right here. The next, right here. Yes? Who's speaking, please? Ah, Hoshino. Huh? Your friend says he spotted a monster there. <laughs> Tell him he's watching too much television and don't believe everything you hear. Yes? What's the matter? What was this? Okay, I'll tell him that right away. So long. Hoshino? Yes, he said he spotted Diamond Kick, the smuggler, a little while ago down by the pier. Ah, oh, even while he's gone, his heart is here. Hold it. If Hoshino is right, then this is no joking matter. Hayate is correct. He recognized his photograph. You know what I think? Not now. Oh. So it's that same area. They find the shark first. Then Diamond Kick the Smuggler shows up conveniently. Let's go. Oh, no. He escaped. Hoshino, why don't you want to believe what I saw? Let's go back to the parking place. I saw a monster. Can't you understand? Can't you understand what I saw? Wait a second. Did you really see a monster? Yes. It had big spikes in the middle of its back and horns that looked like this. Mm -hmm. Oh! oh. <laughs> you should go to the park instead of hanging around here. Just a little while ago, he saw a monster. Big as a house. <laughs> well, if it's true what you're telling me, the monster must be Gwesra. Gwesra? That's right. Gwesra is partly a water lizard that makes its home in South America. It's cacao he feeds on, and he's a good lizard. He gets rid of bad insects. You mean the insects that always hurt the prepared chocolate, huh? <laughs> That's right. If it wasn't for Gwesra, you wouldn't be able to eat chocolate so clean. You know all there is concerning Gwesra. That's right. Because I sailed that cacao ship there. <laughs> now, I don't think Gwesra grows to the proportions of a monster, as you say. And if that is so, why is Gwesra in the Bay of Tokyo? Mm -hmm. It's possible that Gwesra's egg had been put on board ship accidentally, you know. And do you know that he lives underwater as well as on land, too? Hmm? Hmm? Diamond Kick didn't go. Wait a minute. Huh? I just got a brilliant idea. The sailor said, Gwethera likes the cacao beans that are here being stored. Please, let's go there. How could Gwethera hide in there, in such a little warehouse? Oh, well. 
He might not. I think that Gresher's baby could hide there. That I call really making good use of your head. Smart. <laughs> Either. Are you sure it was sent? Yes, I was told the diamonds are hidden in one of the sacks aboard the Columbia. But which one? Keep looking. Baby Guesra? Huh? Quick. I wonder where he is. <gasps> I wonder who did this. The cacao beans are getting all dirty. Let's try over there. Okay. Hey, boss. Shh. What about over there? Okay. He may be in here. Who's that? Did you see Gwendra? Oh, Diamond Kick. Oh! You know my name. Now I can't let you go. Oh. Uh -huh. Hurry! Get them! ships like this because he likes to eat the cacao beans? Well, I think so. It's like a child. It loves to eat chocolate candy. How can we protect ourselves from the monster? We're trying to get that answer now. We're contacting our Brazilian branch to learn of Guesra's weak points. We should know soon enough. And until then, it's dangerous to wait too much longer. Cargo ships are already entering the Bay of Tokyo and they're expected to be arriving at the docks shortly. What are we supposed to do here meanwhile? And what if we're attacked? Where's that cargo to go? Oh, right here. Captain, the ship must be halted. Hmm. Supposing we did do that, I think it still might be very dangerous. You have a cacao supply? Yes, sir, in the warehouse. But what? What for? To lure Quesra. It's to be spread out. It'll be done from our plane. Oh. Now where's the warehouse? Over there. Where's oh. was already here? It's been cut with a knife. Hurry. We haven't much time. Diamonds. The name Chiro is inscribed, Captain. That means they were caught by Diamond Kick. Hmm. Everything he said on the phone was correct. Forget it. It's too late. Where's Ra? Oh, oh, no. ダイヤモンドキックに捕らえられた星の少年たちは、キックの味とに監禁されていた。だが、未来の科学特捜隊を夢見る星の少年は知恵を絞って脱出しようと一生懸命だった。あら。あら。あら。あら。あら。あら。
このため科学特捜隊が目下東京湾上空にあってゲスラを探索中ですああ I could have gotten those diamonds if it weren't for Gwesra、うん I notice that Gwesra continues to grow larger and larger He eats too much of Tokyo Bay's contents What do you mean? He eats everything in sight It shouldn't be able to eat all of that Something should be done Oh, but what? That monster so huge Oh, wait, there below is a rare breed of lizard. Only loud noises, sudden vicious movements make it violent. It'll attack and mutilate almost anything. That's all? It will die if a tentacle is pulled from its head. Ah, but it's difficult to kill. Gwesra blasts a poison so deadly that it can easily eliminate a man almost in contact. Mura here? This is Hayata. We found Gwesra five miles off the bay. Oh, Why is it so close? Captain, we should start the attack. Wait. What for? Wesra must be kept calm with Kakeo. Mm. Loud noises and sudden movements will make it violent. Remember, our own super gun doesn't work well under the water. We'll keep Gwesra in sight. Hmm. I honor the captain. I honor the captain. Gwesra is now heading for the Makajio Pier. Oh no. Do you realize that Gwesra is heading for this area? Oh. However, we have no Kakeo being unloaded from our ships. I wonder if... You have a plan? In Nakajio, all those warehouses keep plenty of Kakeo. That can mean that Gwesra has found the scent. All right. We now have to make a defense. You must return and join us here. Yes, sir. Use your car. At your service, sir. We'll check those Kakeo bags once more at about 8 o'clock tonight. Yes, but... The Columbia's at the bottom of the sea. We'll check what's unloaded. Mm. Mm. All we have to do is keep looking. I have a feeling it's not going to be as easy as all that. Monster must be stopped. Then let's go. Come on.
Okay. Now, Rashi, you stay and take care of them. Right. Come on. Let's get out of here. Hurry. Run. rapidly in Earth's atmosphere. The warning light blinks. If it stops completely, it will mean Ultraman will never rise again. <laughs> Ultraman's in trouble. What's the matter? What's wrong? His strength is almost gone. Oh, Ultraman! <laughs> Oh, 
<笑>あ、こいつらを助け出してるうちに今日もまたウルトラマンの活躍を見損なったよ。いや、しかし良かったよかった。君たちのおかげで宝石密輸団も捕まった。小倉さん。うん。ありがとう。良かった良かった。あ
calling the patrol ship. Who you can mean? you hear me? Fuji. Come in, please. Fuji. Can you hear us? Fuji at science patrol us? headquarters. Oh. Captain. Oh. Captain, are you all right? Oh. 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 Ito's cut his head. Arashi, take care of the wound. Yes, sir. Oh. 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 Come on, Ito, be a big boy. Yeah. Huh? Nobody knows where we are, and there's no way we can send out a message giving our location. That town ought to be near here. Why don't we all try walking to it? Walk? I don't think he's kidding. Well, why don't we search this area? Who knows what we'll find? Good idea. You've been hurt, Ito. So you stay here. Arashi, Adam, and you, Hayata, come with me. Yes. I want to go along with all of you, Captain. I don't want to stay here alone. Ito, the ship will serve as our headquarters. You've got to repair the radio so we can report our whereabouts. We're counting on your skill with electronics. Can you fix the radio? I can. Counter is reacting. Let's go on. Sir, look. I wonder if it's radioactive. I'll check it. is the meteorite, but I don't think it caused that magnetic wall. Then what did cause it, Captain? Uh, I don't know. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Oh. oh, I wonder if it's coming from the radio. It had huge antlers and it was uh, kicking up the sun. Captain, come here, sir. What is it? Look. I'll go down and investigate. Good idea. Hold this, sir. <sighs> oh! Oh! Arashi! I what do we do, sir? Arashi! Captain, 
There's a pass up there. That's the mysterious town I've told you about. The writing says this is the town of Village. I see. Let's go in. Mount Ararat. Mount Ararat. Oh, now I remember. That's where Noah's Ark landed. That's right. That's quite a place there. I thought they'd understand the language of this area, but they can't. I suspect they speak in some ancient tongue. I don't understand. Adam, can you understand any of that? Not a word. Princess! Princess? There's a princess? She understands English. Yes. You have studied in America, then? I have never been anywhere. I've remained right here. I've had no reason to leave my homeland. How did you learn English? I didn't learn it, really. I inherited the ability to read minds, and you are thinking in English. Ah, you read minds. It is a gift of the gods, and it was handed down to me from my ancestors. In the past, this was a busy city. Men visited it from all over the world. It was known as the capital of the desert. And when they came here, they brought the treasures of the West to trade for the treasures of the East. longer would come to trade because after they left here they disappeared. Nobody who ever left came back. We never heard from them again. I know exactly what happened to them. Out there in the desert is the answer. A giant monster hidden beneath the sand was waiting to trap them. A monster? Yes. That lived there for centuries. Are you certain? It was out there all those years. Then, why hasn't the monster destroyed this town? Ultra has been protecting it. Ultra, you say? Adam, I wonder if she could mean Ultraman. So do I. Just who is this Ultra? Can you tell us? Come.
man. A stone statue. The statue has protected us. The monster is afraid of that object in the statue's hand, and so it stays away from our town. What's in his hand? Do you know? Hmm. Must be some kind of good luck charm. I see. Hmm. Ultra. So that's how he was known, huh? No doubt Ultraman used to come here to Earth in order to save it from the monsters that attacked in the past. So in gratitude, the people built a statue to him. Mm hmm And so far, the town's had good luck. That huge monster has stayed away because it's afraid Ultraman may return. Let's go, quick! Now the monster must no longer be afraid. It seems to have gone mad. energy Ultraman gets from the sun diminishes rapidly in Earth's atmosphere. The blinking light is a warning. Should the light go out, it will mean Ultraman will never rise again.
only chance. Please, you must use it. All right. if he brought that stone from outer space. Oh, it doesn't matter. The important thing is it worked. Hmm. Uh-oh. There. I think she'll be all right. Your Highness, our mission here has been completed now. Yes, it has. You have all my gratitude. My people and I thank you. Now you can go back to your own country. And we shall build our town again. You will restore it to its greatness. Once again it will be a center for world trade. And men will visit it from all over. But I don't desire it to be like that. One finds serenity and peace here in the desert. The people will be happier. And will be far from wars and the like. That's true. Won't you find it lonely? I guess. There are a lot of memories here that are good company. And two, I'll be here in the town where I was born, among the people I love. They are my subjects, and I must continue to watch over them. Come, I will take you to the gate, but I trust that you will return. the town will be there a thousand years from now, as it has been for thousands of years in the past. I only wish that we could have done more than we did. Captain Mora, you did a lot more than your duty. Let's go. Oi, Hayata. Ikuni taiin demukai no beetle de katotsukai wa moeru sabaku ni wakare o tsumeru.火山噴火のために無人島になっていたタタラ島に2年半ぶりに定点観測場を再開することになり、4人の先発隊が島に向かうことになった。それから1週間が過ぎた。だが先発隊からは何の連絡もなかった。The newspapers and public have given the men up for lost, but now the government has requested a full-scale investigation by the most efficient and effective force available, the Science Patrol.
to land there. Let's blast it with one of our rockets. Hmm. No, we can't. I don't understand, Captain. It could be that the scientists are hiding down there. Should that rocket miss, they'd be in more danger. Ah, uh -huh. I see. As you know, our mission is to rescue those scientists if we can. We'll take care of the monster later. Ayata, land in front of the observatory. All right, sir. Observatory is wrecked. Hello in there. Is anybody here? Is there anybody in here? Hello? Anybody here? This is the science patrol. Anybody in here? Ah! Fuji, what did you just see? It's right there, a huge spider. Huh? Oh, that's a cute little thing. It wouldn't hurt a fly. Come on. <laughs> Some abandoned equipment. Judging from the cobwebs, nobody's been here for a while, sir. So. Mm. Captain, I've looked all over. The place is deserted. That's too bad. I guess we'll have to search the jungle for those men. They might be still alive out there. Okay, we'll go in different directions. Arashi, Fuji, and Ito, you search the eastern jungle. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hayata, you and I will search the west. We'll rendezvous in this area here. If you find anything or if anything goes wrong, contact me immediately. Move out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look. Somebody dropped this here. Whoever left this here is liable to be close. Here are some more things. Mm. A scientist wore this. Oh. Hmm? oh, look at that. I wonder what really happened. Right in the middle of a jungle. It's strange. The captain should be told. Hmm. <laughs> Ito calling! Ito calling! Ow! They're the loveliest flowers I've ever seen. Ito calling. Ito calling. Why doesn't he answer? I guess it's not working. I'll try. Arashi calling. Arashi calling. Captain, can you hear me? Oh. Oh. This jungle's doing it. There's a strange magnetic interference. The compass. The compass is going crazy. <laughs> Fuji, I'm calling! Thank you! Ah. Trying to slide out! Help! Help me! Trying to get free! My ray gun! Rashi! Get the gun! I got it! Hurry! Look out! must have caught one of the scientists. Come on, let's get out of here. Captain, I don't think we'll find those men around this area. Uh -huh. It's barren, there's nothing to eat here. Even if they had reached this part of the island, they would have starved, so we shouldn't look any further here. Sir, I wonder if the others found anything. Maybe I should radio them. 
Good idea. Go ahead. Yes, sir. This is Hayata. Hayata calling. Captain, I'm unable to reach them, sir. Huh? Hmm. There's a lot of interference. Captain, there, look. we saw earlier. There are at least two monsters on this island. It's like visiting a monster zoo, isn't it? This is no time to be funny, Hayata. Got any plan? We'd better attack. Otherwise, we're stuck here. Got a grenade? Yes, sir. Get ready to use it. Yes, sir. Before dark, we wouldn't want to get trapped in a place like this for the night. So come on, let's go. Oh. Hmm? Please, let's rest here for just five minutes. Good idea. We might as well. All right. to one of the scientists. You see, I wonder if it was left there purposely. That little monster could be leading us to the hiding place. 
But I see, I don't think you're using your head. I'm an expert with my ray gun, and I'm not bad at figuring things out. <laughs> that monster left the handkerchief? That's it. That monster wants us to find the men. Those things we found earlier are to lead us to them. The little monster's friendly. Oh, yes, it's cute. I like it. Don't forget, it's still a monster, and I don't trust monsters. I wonder how many monsters there are here. We'll find out sooner or later. Wait, where are you going? After it. Oh, Rashi, I think we should tell the others first, and we'll continue the search later. Mm -hmm. Let's head to the rendezvous and tell the captain. So let's stop. Don't go on. You can go back if you like, but I want to stay in the trail of that little monster. I'll see you all later. <laughs> You'd better get him out of here. Hmm. 
Send up a flare. We need help. I hope they see it. hit the local area with winds as high as 200 miles an hour. The men of the science patrol kept close watch as television and radar informed them of every detail of the terrible storm. Supplies disappeared in the storm. Huh? Nobody here has to be afraid. Otherwise, you won't make good mountaineers. Yes, uh huh. What? What was that? It's okay. 
Now you've got to calm down. Look, we sing our old song. Who wants to climb with me today? Now that the summer has come around. Who wants to climb with me today? Silver for comes and we're homeward bound. We don't really care if there's rain or the snow. And if a typhoon comes, what could be more dangerous? Blow, blow, blow. It's just another violent storm, and they had to call us concerning it? <sighs> so, what's happening so far? You shouldn't talk that way. Huh? The rain and floods are hitting the area hard. It's mm. serious. Peter, can you make a report of the damage now? That is, if you can grant us your valuable time. Mm. Yes, sir. What's the matter? What's the matter with this line? In a storm like this, he's not on duty? Arashi! Where is he? We'll make him give himself up! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I did it again? Did I? From the sound of your voice, I thought it was an emergency. I was in the middle of a dream and... Uh, it's always an emergency when Hoshino's not around, right? True. I haven't seen him all day. It's the storm. Hoshino's afraid of the noise and he doesn't like oh. to get wet. <laughs> That's what you say. I thought you might need the latest information on the storm. So I dropped by to get it. Well, what do you know? Hoshino wins again. <laughs> <laughs> All the towns around Lake Kiwi are drenched. What? More, I found out that everyone is outside fixing their houses. They're repairing everything now that the typhoon's gone. Are they really? Yes, it's true, sir. And here's the latest news for everyone to catch up on. The following day was sunny and pleasant. But Takashi and Toshio, assistant leaders of the mountaineers, had their minds on other things beside games and fun. What is it? The supply truck didn't make it here. Hmm. I just heard over the radio the bridge the truck uses was washed away. We're in trouble. Hey, what's going Where on? Are you going? When do we eat? The fire's ready. We having steak. I want my cocoa. We're hungry, why don't we start cooking the food? There's been a delay. I'm going to town for some supplies. All of you who want to wait, raise your hand. I'll and I, me yes. too. Okay. You'll be all right. Yes, yes sir. sir. We're off. Bye. Bye. Come on. the radio said the bridge was washed away. We can't take this road. We'll try that narrow path up ahead. Okay, but we'll have to hurry or we'll never get back by noon. Right. Meanwhile, the town was busy clearing the wreckage. We must speed up this repairing. We are already at least two hours behind schedule. We've already fixed it twice, sir. Those strange vibrations under the earth keep crumbling it. Under the earth? Uh, that's right. The way I see it, it's some landslide that's occurring under this road. Uh, oh. Men, look here. 
Gabora appeared near the uranium mines of Salt Valley. It's already completely destroyed this town, and it's now making its way down to the neighboring town of Kalamota. Captain, Gabora feeds on radioactivity. So, that means he feeds on uranium-235. There's a storage of it where he's headed for, in Kalamota. You mean that thing actually eats uranium? Right. Wow. If Kalamota is attacked, the whole area will become radioactive. We have to get over there and stop it somehow. So, let's go, men. Right, right. right. stored in this town. And just what's going to happen to us when Gabora finally decides to attack it? I ask you. Our people just got through repairing the storm's damage. You just can't sit here like gentlemen and watch all this calmly. Try to calm down. We're setting up a defense plan to try and stop Gabora before he gets here. You think you can stop Gabora with paper? I'm doing all I can. Mr. Mayor. Huh? We are dealing with a horrible monster that's radioactive. We cannot attack while there is disorder. Its rays are powerful. A death burn. To save this town, we must lure it away from this site. Captain! We are ready to save them. Gabora is coming! All right. Defense operation, go ahead. Monster Captain, please let me go. Take it easy. My shooting's the sharpest. If I hit the right spot, I think I can destroy it. The poor skin is five times tougher than steel. Mm. What'll happen if the ray doesn't penetrate it? She's right. And what happens if you miss it completely? Huh? Don't worry. Wait now. Arashi, you don't have to be so anxious. What? Why are you... Who's angry? Wait, Arashi. There may be another way. Another? 
It might be a gamble. Let's suppose we lure Gabor out of this area. We might use a uranium capsule as bait from a helicopter. That's far too dangerous. When he sees the uranium capsule, he's liable to go berserk. There isn't any other way to do it, Captain. Hmm. All right. It's already decided. Can I find the helicopter on the mission? Sorry, you can't. It was my suggestion, so I get to go up. My leg. It's scraped pretty badly, but I'll be all right. Come on. Hang on to me. You go slowly. I've got you. Disappeared, didn't he? Don't worry. Huh? We're here. Huh? <laughs> we decided to look after you. You'll have your hands full and you can always use an assistant. Thank you. I don't think you two should have come along. Get going, get going. Come on, Ayaka. Look, Sephora. <laughs> Gabora's going for it. Ayata, here we go. Let's go, man. Play with them. Now, steady, steady. Sit still, will you? I just led Gabora 25 miles into the mountains. What now? Try to lead it a distance further up into that area. That way, when you let go of the capsule, everything will be safe. Good luck. Just why is it that no one can be near? Because while it devours uranium, it emits radioactivity. All right, we'll try to make it another five miles. I don't think it will follow anymore, Hayata. Gabor is going to stop any minute now. He's got to try. We must lead it as far as possible. Radioactivity is too dangerous. Watch carefully below. There may be woodsmen down there. Right. I think I'll be okay. Besides, you go. The boys are waiting down there. Uh, uh, come on. We can both make it. You okay? Yes.
chain's broken. What? Three more miles. We'll go faster. Look. Hold on, sir. I just saw two little boys down there in a trap. Mura here. Do you know of any way to make contact? Uh, those two boys are in trouble, I think. They certainly are. Captain, the best thing to do is to land and tell them to hide near the rocks down there. That's impossible. We won't have the time to do all that. Yes, but we can't just leave them in that area helpless, right? Yes. Well, there's no other way. I'm going to gamble on it. Thirty miles out, Captain, and I'm ready to drop the capsule. Roger. The capsule is stuck. It won't release. Ultraman. Yeah!
It's safe to go? Mm-hmm. Come. these days, you little rascal. <laughs> but Dr. Nakama believes in feeding you well. So here, here you are, a little more supper. Yeah. Good, huh? You like what I give you, huh? <laughs> oh, you're hungry too, are you? You're as greedy as a little pig. But there you are. Eat it all and grow big and strong. <laughs> That's enough for you. Now I have someone else to take care of. And get it. You've got more brains than all the others. You know I take good care of you, huh? But you must continue to be very careful, Kira. No one knows that you live here. Not even the fishermen who come here to fish in this lake. At night you may do as you like, but during the day you must sleep quietly. Kitayamako. 山奥の静かな静かな湖では普段は訪れる人さえなかったのだ。ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ
Chevrolet Kitayama, Rashi. Stand by to launch the S21. I'll give you the signal. Get ready to go. All systems are working perfectly. The S21 is standing by. All right, Edo. Take her down. Vertical landing. Yes, sir. Vertical landing. Underwater investigation of Lake Kitayama. Are the instruments on standby? Everything's ready, sir. Good. We are ready, Arashi. Begin the sound wave test. Right, sir. on the underwater camera. Yes, sir. seems to be wrong there. You may return to the surface now. Roger. I'll head back to headquarters. Say, <laughs> don't be in such a hurry. There's plenty of fresh air where you are and a good hotel nearby. And things are slow here at headquarters. So I'm going to give you a special leave. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, sir. enjoy their unexpected vacation, reporter Kubo and photographer Ayashi of the Boys Graphic Magazine drive into the mountains toward an interview with a certain Dr. Nakama. The editors of our magazine sent us here. We want to do a feature story. You're one of the world's leading authorities on strange animals, and we'd like your opinion about the strange monster they say is living in Scotland in the center of Lake Ness. Our editors feel that you must know a great deal about it and can tell us whether or not there could be such a monster. Answer. Thank you. Ah! 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 On that wall is a portrait of the monster that lived in Loch Ness 170 million years ago. And this ah. is a diprodoc which lives on grass and has a neck fully 30 feet long. This is known to be the king of monsters. It is carnivorous and extremely dangerous. Its scientific name is Quirasaurus. This is the Stegosaurus. It also is one of the world's most dangerous monsters. This monster is shaped like a fish, but it is not amphibious and it reproduces by hatching eggs. There are other monsters, the Buterodactyl, the Eliops, and the Dimorphodons and others. But most like the monster that lives in Loch Ness today is this one right over here, known to science as the Ichthyosaurus. Doctor, had you met Dr. Makaido, who went to pay a visit to Loch Ness and disappeared and was never seen again? I knew him well. He was like me. He was a man who also fell in love with monsters. The expedition you speak of left years ago, as I recall. 
That's right. It all comes back to me now. They left 20 years ago for Lake Ness in Scotland. It was unusually hot weather for that country, even in summer. But the doctor investigated every inch of shoreline, looking for clues to the monster. His companions gave up the search, but Dr. Makaido pressed on. And if he fell into the lake and was devoured by that monster, the Ichthyosaurus, I have no doubt he died a happy man. May I borrow your lighter? Of course. Oh, uh, that's my lighter, Doctor. I'm looking for Miss Kubo, the reporter. Oh, she left about an hour ago to go fishing tonight with our friend Ito. Fishing? Yes. Well, I hope she catches something. You're the captain. Don't do anything yet. Out there, look. There's somebody there. I want to find out what he's doing. Okay. Right now, we're in Dr. Nakama's scientific laboratory. Oh. 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 You saw me out on the lake. It's too bad, but now that you know my secret, I cannot let you go. What are you going to do, Doctor? This is Hayata. How long do you attend to fish? All night? It's about time you came back. Ito? Can't you hear me? Ito! Come in! Ito! <laughs> Ito, what is it? Can you hear us? Answer! Needs. It took me years, quite a 
quite a few years to grow Kira to this size. The greatest monster seen here on this earth. Kira is a monster that is larger and more powerful even than the monster at the bottom of Loch Ness. And Kira belongs to me. When Ito and Kubo are reported missing, Captain Mura and Fuji hurry toward mystery-filled Lake Kitayama, while at the same time Hayata and Arashi, along with the photographer, head toward Dr. Nakama's mansion. your strength, Kubo. Can you fix the radio? I'm trying. Do you have a hairpin you can let me use? Here. I hope this works. <laughs> there are thousands down there. <laughs> <laughs> like that as Dr. Makaido did. <laughs> ah! I recognize you now. You're Dr. Makaido. I thought you had been lost, that you died in lockdowns. Kira! Kira! Show them how powerful you are! Show them what a great monster you are! to transmit. Ito calling. Ito calling. What's your location? The laboratory owned by that scientist, Dr. Nakama. We're both being kept here as prisoners. And right now the monster's coming. Hurry, get us out of here. Follow the path that leads from the forest area. I put a marker on the tree. I hope you see it. All right. Arashi, keep firing your ray gun at the monster. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
crazy. It's empty. I can't hold off the creature any longer. that the monster is destroyed. I don't know why the doctor created it. He wasn't satisfied with the reptiles he kept in his laboratory in the woods. They seemed insignificant. I think he must have loved monsters. Kira. Kira!
Let's stop. It's nothing. We thought it was a flying saucer. That's right. It could have been a meteorite. Hoshino may be right. Come on, let's look for it. Good idea. be the meteorite. It's much too little. Oh. Hmm. It's only a stone, so why is everybody making a big fuss, eh? <coughs> oh, look. Marbles are lying there. What? I could have sworn it was marbles I saw just now. That's what I saw. You're mistaken. It's only your imagination. <laughs> you could be right. Let's go. Okay. Let's try some more leaf salt. Oh, Good idea. Come on. It sure would have been a lot more interesting if the stone had turned into a racing car. Oh, come on, Lucino. I couldn't be just dreaming. It can't be a dream. It's a magic stone. <laughs> Maybe the stone does have some kind of magic in it, but how does it work? Got it? When you think of something, it becomes it and turns to stone again. Then somebody thought of marbles, Hashina. Hmm. Let's see. Suppose we all try it. about the cake, it turns back to stone. Just stone. Let me try. It's my turn. What are you going to think about? I don't know yet. The piano I'd like to own. space was delivered by Hoshino to the science patrol. The strange stone was then transferred to Dr. Yamamoto of the science center. announced. analysis in our laboratories, we have come to the conclusion that the mysterious stone discovered by the children is a compound of elements which are unknown to us at present on Earth. Would you say the stone comes from our sun? 
At present, we can assume anything. Then are we to consider it a meteorite? No, uh, nor a... Uh, uh, is it a plant, then? The following is all we can say. There are both elements of plant and mineral. There's no other current summation. Which means, it is in essence, a living mineral. Doctor, can we at least take a look at this living matter, sir? Show it to him. Yes, sir. Ah, so that's it. The stone has powers nearly supernatural. The children stated it can become anything. Yes. Would you care to demonstrate it? Oh? <clears throat> I have a wishful thought. Come here, please. It won't work if you're too far away. All right. Okay. If you please. All right. Let me see this magic. Now, what do I think of most all of the time? almost immediately into anything asked of it. As a result, it can be most treacherous if used in the wrong way. who was supposed to keep watch over it. In either case, we've got to get the man and the stone. Captain Mora. Yes, Doctor? I have a very bad feeling that this mysterious stone will cause a great deal of trouble. Ah! 
<laughs> now you're mine. Now, little stone, you're mine. Just wait. Everything I wanted, everything I dreamed I'd get, everything on earth, the world is mine. So there, possessing life itself. Now, let me test it. I want something to be destroyed. transmitted into the heart of that amazing stone. Then the monster can't turn to stone again. Mm hmm? Not until this man can recover and forget about it. Mm. Captain! Captain! Muda here. We located the thief, but his condition is bad. We've got to get him to a hospital, so call an ambulance to get here as soon as it can. Right. Arashi, you take this man to the hospital. Ito, contact the army and get a hold of the explosive unit. Yes? We'll keep watch for the monster. Start shooting.
using the beta capsule, Hayata becomes Ultraman. Ultraman gets from the sun diminishes rapidly in Earth's atmosphere. The warning light begins to blink. Should it stop completely, it will mean Ultraman will never rise again. dangerous for Earth. We'll have to ask Ultraman to get rid of it. A telepathic stone doesn't belong here. Wait! I'm going too. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello, Doctor. Oh, you found us all right. Ah, so this is the mummy. Mm -hmm. It was in that cave there. And I guess that it's at least 10,000 years old. Doctor, it's amazing. Oh. This is preserved very well, considering how old it is. I didn't yet solve the mystery of that cave, and I'm not certain just how this creature got in there. I suspect the answer to all this will be very interesting. Doctor, do you have objections to us looking around? None at all. Just be careful of falling rocks. Thank you, Doctor. Well, let's go. Hmm. year-old mummy is to be placed in a room here at the scientific center under the protection of the science patrol. Continue the experiment later. Switch off all the controls. Yes, Doctor. Weird looking little monster. Let's go, Hayata. It is later that same night. I, uh... Oh, it's later than I thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've got your king cornered again. Maybe you'll consider giving up the game to me. <laughs> Why should I give up when you've lost eight straight games tonight? If I were you, I'd be scared. I'm not going to move out of here tonight. Me scared? <laughs> That mummy in there scares me, doesn't it, you? <laughs> oh, I've still got to make the rounds.
and you say it's disappeared, the science patrol will start looking into it immediately. What was that, Ito? A report that the mummy has disappeared. Disappeared? That's right. Ito, that's not accurate. You should get the story right. It's more accurate to say, Captain, I received a report that it was stolen. Make that clear. Those things don't disappear into thin air. Arashi, what I just said was accurate. It's what I was told. One of the workers and the watchmen were attacked. They show certain marks, and the mummy is the only thing that could have caused them. I think it came to life again. I think somehow the doctor revived it. Then it grabbed those two fellows, and it choked both of them. That has to be it. Then there were two more. They were caught at the entrance of the sewers under the city. That makes two. Two and two are four. All right. We'll go to the sewer entrance. We'll look into it. found lying in these positions, Inspector. They were both policemen. Mm, I see. Judging from their positions, I would say they put up quite a struggle, but were thrown down with terrific force. Yes, I'm sure of it. Were they taken away? Yes, sir. To the laboratory. I surmise it entered here. How many exits are there? Four, Doctor, and we've a man posted in each one of them. All good. This is kept locked usually, isn't that correct? Yes, but evidently the lock was smashed. Uh -huh. Doctor, I have a question to ask. How did it come to life? Isn't that the question? That's it, all right. I thought so. I've been asked over and over again. Uh-huh. What's your answer? That the thing was alive right in the beginning, that it didn't die. It didn't die? Doctor, you informed us earlier that it was about 10,000 years old. That's right, I did. It was dead and alive, is what I should have said. Dead and alive, Doctor. It was in a kind of hibernation, actually. I'll alert oh. the science patrol immediately. Doctor, that's fantastic. Hmm. Sir, I just heard the thing's been trapped inside, and your help is needed in there. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait, Captain. Try to capture that mummy alive. I could make experiments then to see how it lived all these years. I must find the answer to that. Take care, Captain. I think your guns might be able to destroy it and destroy the answer. Doctor, with this ray gun in my hand, I'm an expert, but I shall hold my fire. It's important. <laughs> And we're here to try to capture the mummy. Yes, for scientific reasons.
Okay, good luck. And don't miss it. Yes, sir. Oh. 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 の手配をしろ。はい。怪我人を急いで病院へ運ぶんだ。あ。と、昨日、一緒に。はい。ついに行けずにはできなかったな。お前を発掘さえしなかったら、まだまだ眠りについていられたのに。こいつはきっと住む
and could get her. I know, but we've got to risk it. We can't let the monster leave this area. Ito, give me the electronic barrier. Good idea. I've never seen that before. What is it? It's Ito's brilliant idea. It's an electronic shield. Monster's eyes, Arashi. I hope this thing works. You'll need to be protected. Go ahead. Mm. just now. That shield is a great invention. Side. Try to distract the monster. Yeah.
Has Arashi been badly hurt? It's nothing serious. He was knocked out, that's all. He's as strong as an ox. Nothing can hurt him badly. Bad news. I was at the hospital, Captain, and uh, I wasn't able to save the mummy. I'm sorry to hear it. It's a pity. I know you agree. I think we could have learned a lot from the thing. I regret that we may never find the answer as to how those creatures existed. But I feel certain that those creatures shared whatever the secret is. If only they had stayed in the Earth. The monsters shouldn't have been disturbed. In hibernation, they bothered no one. We didn't know that when we started the excavation. I certainly wish we had known. Who does I ought to think he is? Stands there just the way Ultraman would stand. Fire in the oil fields of the Middle East. This is just one of the sudden and mysterious conflagrations occurring wherever oil is being stored or shipped throughout the world. So far, all investigations have failed to uncover the cause of these disasters. in the water.
Not a thing yet. We've been up here almost an hour. I know that, but we've got to wait for more orders from Captain Mura. I just bet that fellow imagined it all. Nevertheless, we have to look into it. It might not have been imagination. He might really have seen a monster down there. All right, but I doubt that he saw a monster. Calling the patrol ship. Have you sighted anything? No, sir. Nothing. Captain, there hasn't been a trace of a monster. And we've searched the whole area. Sir, I suspect we're wasting our time. What is the witness saying now, Captain? He's still claiming that he saw a monster out there in the water. Oh, Oh, dear! Oh, dear! Oh! Do I have to tell you the story again? I know what I saw, and it was a monster! It came from the water over there and smashed into the truck, right over there! I saw it! Oh. Oh. This entire area was just searched, and no one saw any sign of a monster. I saw a monster! Oh. I think you were smoking, isn't that right? And your cigarette exploded the gasoline in that truck. And you're trying to say that a monster did it. Well, I didn't. I don't lie. You are lying. Uh, I wouldn't have any reason to call the police. I'd run away if I started the fire. Listen, why not let him get some rest? He'll think more clearly then. And you can question him again. Uh, you're as bad as the rest of them, huh? You think I didn't really see it. No matter how much rest I get, I'd still say the same thing because I'm not lying. That truck was attacked by a monster from the water. Hayata. What do you think of his story, sir? Hmm. There's just one thing about it. Only last month, oil fields and tankers started to explode the way they did last night with no explanation. That's right. But nobody reported seeing a monster anywhere in those areas. Still, I think that that witness did see a monster. Then he's not lying. see strange lights. Oh, an oil tanker. I have a theory, Captain. The oil fields and all the tankers were destroyed by exactly the same monster who made the attack we saw today. I suspect it lives on oil. Oil? That's right, on oil. I have a basis for my strange theory. As you may know, there are microbes that live within the oil. And a creature that size may need microbes like that that we know multiply by the billions and therefore offer a sufficient food supply. It's gone, all right. I wonder where it's going to attack next. It's somewhere at sea. Then that could mean that the next thing it will attack are some more tankers. It won't have to go to sea to find oil. Look over there. Emergency measures are taken to protect the huge oil refinery.
refineries, and all shipping is warned to stay away from the threatened area. At Science Patrol headquarters, a conference is held exploring possible ways to destroy the monster. Hmm. Correct. Now I want you to see the plan in case it attacks from the south. Here's a drawing of the monster. Apparently, it has two giant stomachs. Captain, I wonder if it keeps the oil in there. Now, Ito, please don't joke. Actually, Ito's theory could be right. A monster that size needs a tremendous amount of energy. And that oil is the only way it can get it. I've got a plan then. It'll be easy to get the monster. Easy? Yes, the monster's like a tank. It can explode easily with one blast of my gun. It's just a matter of placing the shot accurately. One blast and the monster will be finished. That's a very dangerous idea. You know the strange rays the monster has and how explosive they are. Suppose you miss with that first shot, what then? Hmm. Despite the great danger, we'll have to try to hit the monster. Yes, right here. I agree, Doctor. If we use bait to try to hit one of these areas, the oil may explode, destroying the monster. I have a plan that may work. Let's go, men. Yes, yes sir. into the sea. It's on its way toward shore, Captain. It's headed toward shore. Ito, you can't 
fire those missiles at it now. you not to attack it so close to shore. I'm sorry, Captain. I reacted so suddenly that I accidentally fired the missile. That doesn't matter. We are all responsible for the mistake you made. Now we're in trouble. We've got to stop that monster before it's too late and no matter what it costs. Refinery fire has got to be extinguished. Take us down. The big tanks are beginning to catch fire. The chemical trucks are not enough to extinguish it. Call some of the other cities and ask them to send whatever help they can spare. Yes, have you anything further to report? Sir, bad news. We're going to lose another tank in a second. The men are helpless. I thought the plan was not to fire at the monster while I was here in the harbor. What are you going to do about the situation? As you're no doubt aware, there are millions of gallons of oil here. Permit the fire to spread, and it'll ruin us. I'm sorry. I know that we're the ones who caused this. Don't apologize, Captain. Do something. Can you transfer oil to a tank that's a distance away from here? Even a fool knows not to fire near a refinery. I'm surprised at the science patrol. What's the latest news about additional firefighting equipment? We haven't been able to get a line out. I think the power has gone on the phone. We've got to do something fast or the whole refinery will explode. Ito, where are you going? Come back. The six and seven tanks have just gone. We can't stop it with chemicals. And we are doomed. for the fire. That's right. You two go in different directions and try to rescue Ito. Good luck. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. I'll try to stop the fire.
More chemicals. See to it. Yes, sir. Captain. Ito's near the fire. That means there's no way to rescue him. If only we could think of some way to put out this fire. I know. Huh? Ito's in there. the beta capsule, Hayata has become Ultraman.